Hello everyone, welcome. This is my review of, I believe, the first film in 10 years to be directed by Academy Award winner Mel Gibson. The film is called Hacksaw Ridge and it's a new wartime drama, World War II. It tells the story of Desmond Doss who had a passion for life. He had a passion for his country, a passion for his God, and wanted to serve in World War II no matter what. But he did it on his own terms. The film stars Andrew Garfield, Sam Worthington, Teresa Palmer, Luke Bracey, Rachel Griffiths, Hugo Weaving, and Vince Vaughn. A pretty impressive cast. I was very excited to see this film. I knew nothing about Desmond Doss before watching this. I had seen the trailer, but I tried to stay away from finding out about his life. So hopefully I would have an emotional connection to what he did during World War II. And whether I like the movie or not, if you've read what Desmond Doss did in World War II and you see the film, whether you like the movie or not, you cannot deny that it was a miracle, that he is a true American hero, and his story is quite fascinating. And I'm really glad that the story was finally told. I think this is an important story that I think the younger generation need to see need to know about because he is he was that age he was probably in his early 20s when all of this happened now of course we get to know him as a young man we get to know about his family life not the most uh and it wasn't a perfect family life but uh you know he believed he cared and he wanted to do good um i don't really want to you know of course if you watch the trailer you can spoil what he did or how he you know fought in the war but I tried to stay away from the actual miracle that he performed in World War II that he was willing to not only save his friends but also save the enemy as well so uh, pretty pretty incredible story the movie itself let's find out well it the movie had a rough start I have to say even though I was very excited it's Mel Gibson hasn't directed a movie in 10 years so extremely excited love Mel Gibson as an actor and as a director I'm not a big fan of his personal life Tried to not forget about that, of course, but judge the movie on its own merits and not on the personal life of the filmmaker. We have a lot of directors and stars and actors who've done a lot of crazy things in their life, and it's hard not to, you know, not, it's hard to, you know, not think about those things when you're watching them have such a great performance or they made such an amazing film. And I've loved the films of Mel Gibson. Even when he, uh, when you know, when he's an actor, of course, and of course, as a director, he's made some amazing films as a filmmaker. So very excited for those reasons, and the cast looks great and all. But the movie had a rough start. It had a little bit of a bumpy road along. It felt extremely old-fashioned, and I don't know if that was done on purpose. I think it would have worked more maybe if this movie was made right after the war, or maybe in the fifties after the war. Uh, it's. The, the the acting is really weird in this movie because it goes from being extremely melodramatic to extremely emotional. Sometimes I might be wiping away a tear and other times I might be going, eh, I don't know if I believe that. It's kind of phony and cheesy and goofy. But I, I liked Andrew Garfield. Actually, I said I liked Andrew Garfield, but by the end of the film I really loved Andrew Garfield and his betrayal, uh, put portrayal, of of this character, uh, of this real uh, 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 this real American hero, uh, and I really felt like he grew as an actor in this movie. His performance was incredible. A little rough in the beginning, but I think that was the case with a lot of the actors as they were introduced in the film. And Vince Vaughn has a a pretty great role in the movie, and Sam Worthington has a great role, and and there's some other people that have smaller roles in the film that I that I think have some nice moments to shine some other times they're not but we really get to know this character over uh, a period of time as we see him in his home life uh, as he's in uh, military training and then in the war itself and so we do get a sense of this character we do get a chance to really get to know this person and sometimes it's okay but I would say in the final hour and 10 minutes of the movie it really just goes in a, an amazing direction especially when we get to 
all uh, the action. I mean, it's first, like, half of the movie is a drama, the second movie is an action film. And the way the action is handled is much better than the drama. Didn't hate the drama. It was just a little messy. Just a little, little uh, here and there. But when it came to all the action and the drama that's surrounding the action and the set pieces and the violence and the special effects and the practical effects, it became real, really real, really, really fast and extremely emotional. So a movie that I was kind of worried about when I saw it at the end and how I felt about it, but I mean, a movie that I was really worried about when I saw it at the beginning, by the time the movie was over, I had a, a solid opinion about the movie. I knew what I was thinking about this film and how I felt about it. It's not a perfect film by any means, but that's okay because it is extremely emotional. Of course, the story is incredible. I think people that don't like this movie, can't deny that the story is incredible. And would you do the same thing? Would you be willing to go to war the way, the same way that Desmond did? I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could. Uh, so I admire him for his experience, his story, his legacy. It's incredible. And I think uh, Mel Gibson uh, is a fabulous director, and he shows once again that he knows how to direct action. And, you know, I don't know... Again, with the drama, a little bit in the beginning, just it just came off a little melodramatic for me at times. But I think he knows how to tell, tell a story. I definitely believe that he knows how to tell a story. And he knows how to keep your attention throughout. Even when I was a little uh, bothered, I was still interested in the movie itself. I was like, okay, maybe, maybe this is an okay film. You know, it's not a great film, but it's a good one. I'm enjoying it. But by the end, I was like, wow, I love this movie. I don't love it entirely, but I was so moved by the story itself, uh, the actions of Desmond and what he did, and then I appreciate all the technical work that went into it, from uh, the production design, the art direction, the cinematography, the movie looks great, the score itself is a beautiful piece of music. And the acting uh, when it comes to those those the, those wartime action sequences, Vince Vaughn is great, and Sam Worthington has some really nice scenes. Uh, and I and you know there one time there it's like kind of like a courtroom drama. So this movie has, has a lot going for it. So I really hope that more people get a chance to go see it because I think it's a very important film. Yes, it takes place years and years uh, ago, but it's about a young man who's making some hard decisions. And I think in this day and age the younger audiences really need to see this and be reminded of what their grandfathers and their grandmothers did so that they could be free, so they could live the lives that they are living right now. So very moved by this movie. I uh, really enjoyed it. It was, it was flawed, but it was extremely incredible. I, I just thought it was moving, as, as, especially near the end. I was, had to wipe away a lot of tears at the end of the film, and I would definitely be proud to add it to my movie collection. And for that... I am going to give Hacksaw Ridge, I will give it a solid three and a half stars out of four. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.